morning muggles! As a lot of you seem to like my How the Harry Potter Films Ruined Ron Hermione video, I've decided to make another one. Today we're going to be discussing arguably one of the most sidelined characters in the books. Let's discuss how the Harry Potter films ruined Ginny Weasley. found this video difficult to structure because of the complete lack of screen time and character development Ginny gets in the films compared to the books. The actor is always kind of there in the background but her part is cut woefully short compared to her role in the books, especially considering how big a role she ended up playing. In the books Ginny is a fantastic character. She's smart, savvy, unafraid to speak her mind, a talented witch, and at her heart she's a good and kind person. She develops quite slowly in the book so we get to see a lot of growth in her character and confidence. In the films she's pretty much narrowed down to just Harry's love interest and even this is sidelined by the screenwriter's insistence to make Harry and Hermione seem like a thing. I really think Steve Close just hated Weasleys. So in the books her character develops over time from Ron's younger sister who has a crush on Harry into a strong young woman leading Dumbledore's army into the Battle of Hogwarts. At first she often seems sidelined and overshadowed by her brothers but by the end of the books this is really what makes her strong. It gives her a confidence in her own abilities and a real ability to be independent. Take for example the story of how she got into Quidditch. It's explained that from a young age Ginny started breaking into the family broom shed and stealing each of her brother's brooms in turn in order to practice Quidditch because her brothers wouldn't let her play with them. In the end she surprises and surpasses them all, getting onto the Quidditch team and actually playing two positions, seeker and chaser, and then in later life becoming a professional Quidditch player. In the films all this backstory is squashed into a five minute scene in Ron's Keeper tryouts. It doesn't explain how she got so good at Quidditch and what she had to overcome to get there and she's kind of played off for comic relief against Ron's ineptness. Condensing huge amounts of character development into small plot points is actually something the films do a lot with Ginny. In the book she's described as being amazing at certain jinxes and hexes, pulling off amazing bat bogey hex against people trying to talk her down and outperforming the DA in certain spells. In the films this is condensed into a sort of weird scene where she uses a reductor curse and everyone just stares at her and this is then foreshadowing for her doing it later in the Department of Mysteries. In both of these film instances the actress is given no lines to explain what's going on or her backstory or how she got to this point so we don't really feel proud for Ginny's achievements because we don't know what it took her to get there. The other thing the films ruin is her personal relationships with other people. In the books Ginny is a really good friend to Luna. She sticks up for her when no one else in the year group really does which makes a difference because Ginny's really popular. She's also meant to have a really close friendship with Hermione that's developed very subtly in the books. They start off getting to know each other at the burrow in summers and you can tell by later books that they're really true close friends. They know a lot of information about each other that the other characters aren't aware of. But all this is completely ignored in the films apart from a couple of looks that the characters share which really isn't a replacement for the strong development that the books had. Ginny's relationship with her brothers also seems ignored in the films. In the books Ginny has a great relationship with the twins, often hanging around with them, joining in with their jokes but putting them in their place when they need it. And her and Ron come across as having a really great realistic relationship in the books. They often argue but it's seen as kind of normal for siblings and you know that they would have each other's backs in any situation. Again in the films this just doesn't come across and sometimes I feel like the only way you'd know their siblings is their hair. And then let's move on to her relationship with Harry. In the books I feel that their relationship is really subtly developed and feels really natural. I know a lot of people said that Harry's feelings came out of nowhere in Half-Blood Prince but I feel like they do start to come from somewhere in Order of the Phoenix if kind of you look. Ginny's often around to give Harry advice that Ron and Hermione don't seem to be able to give him and they really balance each other out because Ginny's super laid back and easygoing, which is good against Harry's crazy life and they really make each other laugh. However in the films their relationship seems really random and forced. Some of this may unfortunately come down to the actor's performance at times but this does not excuse the poor planning and writing that went into their romance. I think 
the screenwriter Steve Close was so obsessed with his own idea about Harry and Hermione and them being together, which I think he's mentioned in interviews that he envisaged them two ending up together, he concentrated so much effort on those two that he just kind of forgot about Harry and Ginny's romance and in the process bulldozed Ginny and Ron's characters in the films. There seems to be no reason for them to be together in the films. We don't see them talking together, laughing together, confiding in each other, anything that you'd expect two people who fancy each other to do, so therefore when they get together it just kind of feels hollow and a bit pointless. Ultimately, unlike Ron and Hermione, whose characters were changed a lot for the films, I feel like they just gave Ginny a new character entirely. And that's all my thoughts on how the Harry Potter films ruined Ginny, but make sure to let me know your thoughts on the topic in the dungeon section down below. This is also now the second video I've done on the topic of how the Harry Potter films ruined, so let me know in the dungeon section down below what else you'd like me to make this kind of series on. Are there any other characters or pairings or anything at all that you think the films ruined? Don't forget you can subscribe to this channel for new Harry Potter videos every single Friday and if you want more updates in between you can follow me on my social media links which are on screen now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!